Patrick Roberts bagged a brilliant brace as Celtic's development side turned on the style to defeat Dunfermline 4-1 at Lennox Town and stretched their lead at the top of the table to six points. The on-loan Manchester City player tormented the pass for the 75 minutes that he was on the pitch and it only took him 12 minutes to open the scoring with an exquisite finish after he had been supplied by Scott Allen. It was a wonderful touch from Roberts who drove into the area and picked his spot, curling a shot in off the far post. He then set up Ryan Christie for number two moments later. Roberts drove forward and lofted the ball over goalkeeper Gill, which gave Christie the simple task of chesting the ball home. With 31 minutes on the clock, the pass resistance was broken again as Christie confidently rifled into the corner after another quick exchange of passes from the hoops. Christie fired his second of the match following a 1-2 with Paul McMullen. With 11 minutes still to play in the first half, Roberts got his second of the match with another fantastic finish. Collecting a pass and bursting into the box, he casually scooped the ball over goalkeeper Cammy Gill. The 19-year-old still had plenty to do when he sped into the area, but he left Gill stranded with a sublime chip that nestled into the far corner. McIntyre's side resumed where they had left off in the second half with Rogic, Mulgrew and Christie having attempts soon after the restart. But John Potter's side managed to reduce arrears following a swift counter-attack with striker cross and taking a touch before striking beyond Doohan. With the damage being done in the first half, the boys took all three points and extended their impressive unbeaten run in the league to 17 games. You know, I think you see the, the number of uh, first team boys that we had and, and I thought their attitude and the way they, their tempo and the way they set a great example for the young players. Um, you know the game in itself. You know some of this stuff was 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 fabulous, and it and it set a marker for our younger players on how to what they need to do to get to the next level. Ross, first appearance for the development side. How did you enjoy that? Uh, it was a good experience. Obviously, getting my first game time a couple of months, which is good. And it's obviously a milestone for me. Playing. Uh, what can you take from participating in a match like that? Just try and get back to match fitness, match sharpness, and it was good to have a few things to do. But obviously, I'd be a bit disappointed not to get a clean sheet. I think the big thing is you know the speed in which we played. We played that. You know, it was a good exercise for the first team lads in the sense that they get some minutes under their belt. Uh, but as I say, some of the some of the stuff and even the most neutral fan would have would have looked at it and been really pleased with some of the football. I thought I thought it was excellent. And to be fair, the family made it, made it difficult for us. But again, you know, we moved the ball so quickly, it was very difficult to get near them. I was out on it coming all coach for roughly about two months. I feel that really helped me, being a, getting the more physical side of the game against men. And the tempo was quite high and it's high standard and a lot to do. So I think that kept me ticking over match sharpness as well. And hopefully just be back playing with the development squad all the time now. The young players, they'll benefit from playing alongside such experience and, and seeing how they perform in, in that stage. Well, we say to them, you know, you can look to see what you need to aspire to in terms of levels to get there. Um, and as, as I said, there were great examples for the young players, and I thought young players, you know, did well. You know, Ross Duhan had a, had a great save in the first half, I think, when it was it was two nothing. Um, and even in the second half, I thought he equipped himself really well. You know, Sam Ward of the two full backs, you know, helped. And Paul McMillan put a shift in up front in terms of the way he got about, and he made he made things a wee bit easier for us because he's pressing his attitude and the way he works. So, all in all, it was a good exercise.